Hi guys, this is Omer from MMHot.com, and I'm the first impressions gameplay video for RF Online, a 3D sci-fi-ish fancy MMORPG published by CCR. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play RF Online or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started, and I know I did a video for this game a while ago, but it's been such a long time, and the game itself is still around, and I felt my old video is very dated, so I do want to make another video for RF Online, and here we go guys, Pioneers of Novus Episode 2. I think it was episode 2 last time I did my video as well. And it is fantasy and romance. Let's click start over here. And I gotta do a fire guard security login. And I hate when games give you like this extra layer of uh, security nonsense because it's shenanigans. But let's go ahead and do this real quick anyway. My pet's name is gonna be Leet with a triple E because he's that Leet. And my input password. This is what I just typed in earlier. Let's go and try that over there. And well, bam, we are in over here. And you can see the game has a sci-fi theme to it because it's all like glowy mechanical shenanigans. But the game itself originally released back in, I think, 2006 as a pay-to-play game, but it didn't remain pay-to-play very long. It eventually re-released as a free-to-play game in 2008 and has been free-to-play since. And surprisingly, the game is still available, though it's not really that popular. Let's click create over there and create our character over here. This is a game I really haven't really played that much. I played it a tad bit when I was first looking at it. When, when, I, when I first realized the game was free to play, I did play it for a tad bit. And we got the Bellatio Union, we got the Korra Holy Alliance of Cola, and we got these dudes over here, Akresha Empire. As always, there is always an empire, and they are of course evil. Big robots over there with dual swords. Let's go play as uh, let's go play the friendly people over here. We're gonna play at uh, the Bellato Union. They look the most peaceful. Nope, we're gonna go Holy Alliance of Core over here and click OK. And there are three factions in the game, and they are always at war with each other for whatever reason. And it's a sci-fi themed game, but it still plays more like a fancy themed game than anything else. But let's see what we got over here. At least the interface looks sci-fi-ish. That's evil eye over here just looking at us. So our classes include warrior, ranger, mystic, and specialist. Out of all of these, the only sci-fi-ish sounding one is specialist. Come on, warrior, ranger, and mystic? Are you kidding me? It's nothing, you know, sci-fi about that. Let's go play a warrior. I guess it'll be like cyber warriors or space warriors. And my combat ability is really, these are all the same no matter who I pick. So let's go with that warrior and click OK over there. And what bam, there you go, I'm a jacked elf over there. Jacked space elf, there you go guys. I'm going to leave my stuff pretty much default for now and let's jump into the game. Though I remember when this game first came out, it had really nice graphics. But nowadays, I mean the game came out in 2006. So now, compared to today's standards, the graphics are not that great. And why is he wearing like this like half shirt? It looks really weird. And it's a dude too. So let's go name. Let's see what the can we make a female. Yeah, we can. We look normal this way. I like how the the skirt just moves up up and down. We got some awesome space winds. So let's go back to mail over there and click. Uh, let's make my name Remote K with uh, two Y's and jump in over here. The character name already exists. Let's put an X at the end. Remote X. Character has been successfully created, and here we go. We can jump into our character right now. So even though the game originally released back in 2006, it's still around. I mean, it's a it's a pay-to-play. Oh, we got like an interest scene over here. It is a pay-to-play game, gone free to play. There's actually numerous pay-to-play games, gone free to play. But if whoa, we got like waterfalls over there. But unfortunately, unlike games like you know Lord of the Rings Online or other Dungeons and Dragons Online, this wasn't really too successful. Uh, the game still has a bunch of servers still up. I think three servers when I'm doing this video right now. So we got this random like scene and just pan across too bad there's no actual story right now i mean the game itself has a lot of original music and some cool cutscenes because the game was released again as a retail pay-to-play game so it does have a certain high quality feel to it the tutorial shall brief you on your character movement uh i don't really need tutorial on that so uh, let's click cancel go away uh click okay over there so i'm gonna go ahead and skip that tutorial because i'm a boss i can handle this so let's see what's up over here uh, i totally forgot what this game was again because i haven't really played it since my last video but let's check it out again i do remember uh when you started whoa all right Whoa, what was that? We got big gold bars over our head. Not sure what that is. Has obtained one beginner's gold box, 40 level. Awesome, how cool is that? Greetings, why is she laughing at me? Greetings, I am certain you must have questions. I shall explain. First, welcome to Novus, the Alliance Armed Service. I shall act as your supervisor while you are stationed. So apparently we are stationed on this uh, this planet over here. It looks very, not very sci-fi-ish. We got people over here. So the game still has a player base. That guy's name is Tool. What a tool. Is that an actual player or an NPC? Is it, who named themselves Tool in all caps? What NPC would have that name too? So let's go click around over here. I want to figure out this game out. Figure this game out again. Because again, the last time I played this game was in my last video. There are people still running around the game. And I guess it's because there's an event going on actually as I'm doing this video. Since the game went free to play, the game uh, changed quite a bit. And one of the things that did change is the experience rate and a lot of the starting stuff. The game was designed to be much easier now that it was free to play. I am speaking to you via mental transmission, guys. In the future, elves can like talk each other mentally or something. I don't know. We got some mental transmissions going on. Click OK over there, and the weapon was given out, guys. The weapon was given out. Excellent grammar over there. And we got directives. 
some shenanigans. Keep skipping the stuff over here. I'm gonna keep skipping the greedy Bellotto for possession of the Crag Mines. So the three factions are actually fighting for the resources. Uh, apparently some resources in the game. Could be okay over there too. And that actually kind of fits to the actual PvP in the game. Because as the factions fight each other, they fight for control over a resource-rich mine. Whoa, congratulations, go me! I got some awesome rewards over here. And I do remember this part, this part of the game, and you start with really powerful weapons. And like, I'm talking about really powerful weapons, and I'll show you what's up over there. Oh, we can't move with WSAD, which feels kind of weird, but we can move with point and click. Can we use arrow keys? Yes, we can use arrow keys, and that means you can always rebind your keys to WSAD. So the people that prefer WSAD movement will be satisfied, because again, you can remap the keys. Though I'm using the, the directional keys right now to move the arrow keys, not directional keys. That guy's a Neo Assassin. He's not a Paleo Assassin, guys. He's a new Assassin. He's got a glowing weapon over there, too, but let's go find their way outside of town. And uh, there's still people. Well, why is my why is that hovering all the way over there? My actual name over there. We got a gatekeeper over there. Pointment NPC. But let's go bring up our inventory as well. I want to show you guys my overpowered weapons. And this is the one aspect of RF Online I still really remember. And that's you start with really powerful weapons in the game. I mean, I start with a level uh, at level one character. I have a Returnee's Dual Soul Sword over there. I equip that bad boy, and you'll see how powerful it is. It does 1,054 to 1,500 damage, which is absurdly powerful considering uh, the newbie weapon in the game, which I actually started with. is called Returnee Soul Staff. Oh, no, that's not a newbie weapon. That's an uber powerful weapon as well. But the actual uh, newbie weapons in the game don't do nearly as much damage. For some reason, your, your starting weapons are absurdly powerful. I mean, absurdly powerful. There's absolutely no challenge early on, and that's what I do remember very distinctly. Let's go out this way. There's like green stuff over there. I'm not sure what these are like. I guess it's a uh, futuristic shenanigans. Though, if the game is like futuristic themed, it's supposed to have a sci fi element to it. I mean, the game's website and a lot of the game's interface looks sci fi ish, but too bad the actual gameplay and visuals don't really measure up to that because it feels more like a fantasy themed game than anything else i gotta find my way outside of town right now let's go this way there's some shenanigans there's a big portal over there but can we actually go through the portal or can we not let's see what's up over here we're gonna go to uh let's go to harem Ooh, harem citadel i'll go there let's see what's up over there though i'm pretty sure it's a high level area we're gonna get rolled we got a rf online artwork over here guys this is sketch 260 i'm gonna quit i'm gonna quiz you on that guys and he's section pit boss named zetso over here so yes we are outside town right now i think or near outside town Nope, not that way. Let's go down over here. I'm pretty sure the monsters here are going to be way too high level, and it's not even going to be worth fighting them. I'm going to get owned. But uh, yeah, I don't want to. I can't even jump down there, guys. How lame is that? I want to jump down there, but I can't. So I probably should go back to the beginner area because I'm pretty sure this level, this area is not going to be for me. Because it, it's let me teleport over here. There's an unmanned uh, transaction over there right now. But let's go back in this portal and find. I mean, where is the way outside of town? I want to show you some combat, but uh, I gotta find a way to go leave this, leave the newbie area to find uh, some shenanigans to kill. Nope, we can't. We can't even go back in here. What, what's up with that? Yep, we are. We're gonna be perma stuck over here killing some high level shenanigans but uh, I do want to stress though the, the newbie weapons in the game are extremely powerful and I do remember this last time I played RF online I feel like the developers uh, CCR Korean company behind the game sort of uh, ditched their I mean they didn't really ditch the game but they want a very different route. The game feels more like a private server than anything else because the weapons do absurdly powerful damage. I remember uh, last time I played, you pretty much kill. I just ran around a circle over there. I know you guys saw that. But I remember last time I played, you can pretty much one-shot anything in the game early on up to like level 30 because your weapon is so powerful. I mean, the game starts you off with a weapon that you normally wouldn't be able to get to like level 30 plus, which actually makes no sense because it removed all the challenge in the game. Captain Wafer over there. He's a wa Wafer, whatever his name is. But I still have to find something to kill. The world itself, is pretty large and people still do play the game so that's kind of cool too and man this totally sucks i can't find anything to kill right now so i'm going to just start recording again when i actually find my way outside of town all right guys here i am i find my way outside the, to the newbie area over here i ended up dying finding a really high level monster over there but luckily that brought me back to the beginner area and i decided to click m and bring up my awesome little map over here Pro tip guys, when you guys get lost, use the map, it's always helpful. And the hockey is always tab or M, usually M. So let's go find our skills real quick. We got some young flims over here, which we can go kill. And my awesome glowing dual swords over there, guys. This is the overpowered weapon I was talking about. You start, you start with this bad boy at level 1. Dual uh, fire sword and ice sword, and you get to one-shot everything. But don't worry, guys. Every other newbie in the game, every other new character also has an epically rigged sword over there. So let's go one-shot these young flims over here, which die one hit, and I hit that for 1,200 damage. They have absolutely no chance. These poor buggers over here, you're supposed to, you know, they die one hit. The game is supposed to be challenging. I'm pretty sure when the game first came out. In fact, I know for a fact when the game first came out, I actually played the game, I think, I when the, free, when the game I went first free to play, and you did not start with these ridiculously powerful weapons. This was added to the game 
game, uh, uh, not recently of course, but it was added to the game some point after the game first went free to play, and it made the game very easy, almost like a free to play private server or something like that, because you st these weapons are absurdly powerful, and not only can I kill these level 1 monsters, I mean you can see how, how difficult the enemy is by clicking on them and how many little stars they have over here, these little dots, this is how difficult they are. These guys only have one little thing over here, making them incredibly easy for me to kill, but I can probably kill something a lot harder too, even though I'm only level, what am I, level 1 or 2 right now? Let's go look at the skills as well, which we have open over here. I thought K brought up the skill menu, but K just screws up your camera angle, like you go like over top over here, you can like do a tactical view of like an actual battlefield, but that's kind of useless right now, so we click K to go back to normal view. Let's go, uh, you know, you can see my skills right now, we got Slash, let's go use some Slash over here, use some of our level 1 skills. So it looks like we do start with each of the skills in the game as uh, my basic skills, my basic skills at least. We got Bash over here, we got Blitz, can we use all of these? Let's see what they do over here, close range skill, aims 3 attacks at target, so let's go use, uh, let's go use one of these over here. And let's go bump into this guy and use one. Oh, not K over there, wrong one over there. And what bam? Did I use my skill or no? I don't think I even used that skill. Let's try using it again. Two. Nope, not those. Maybe F1. Yep, F1 actually does that in F2. Sometimes it's, you know, the one key or F1 key for the hockeys over there. And I one shot them regardless. And this one guy dropped like 14 of these little boxes over here. There's no way I'm gonna stand here and pick them all up one at a time. I mean, there may be a way to pick them all up at once, but I'm pretty sure these are all useless. I do remember earlier when I completed my first newbie mission, the NPC gives you like a weapon to use, but the weapon is so incredibly useless because it does like 100 damage, and you're starting out dual epic blades over here, do so much more. I only have one backpack right now, so I can barely hold any items. The game gives me all these potions too, so there's really no challenge whatsoever. And I got beginner's gold box, which I can't open to level 40, which I guess has even more overpowered weapons in them. So God forbid you have to actually work for your gear in the game. The game kind of gives you everything all at once, so that's not necessarily a bad thing either. I guess that makes the game a little bit different, though it gives the game a sort of cheap feel to it. Like there's no sense of reward because you get everything you know right away in the game. And you start with a ton of potions too, training Pope HP potions. Not sure why they're called that, and the trade is impossibility not impossible impossibility so let's go kill this flying wing over here and of course he gets one shotted but let's go try using a different weapon my returnee soul staff over there which is a glowing staff and i'm still going to one shot them so i am w changing from run to walk i was on uh, i was on like walk or something he drops like 15 of these items i don't know why he dropped so many like why was that one guy carrying all of these items it makes no sense and you can zoom on your character too and the, the animations aren't great i mean the, again the game itself is quite old now and newer games like you know I, Runes of Magic, Allods Online, Vindictus especially, look a lot crisper and nicer. Though when this game first came out, the graphics were uh, were definitely something. We can keep moving around over here and let's find something a bit more difficult to kill. And again, it should be very easy because again, you have very powerful weapons in the game. But yeah, my, I keep clicking K for skills, but that's not the skill menu. I gotta click this and that. And as you use your actual skills, they level up with use, which is something a bit different too, because in you know, most games you need to put talent points into them. Over here, as you use your skills, they actually gain, which is definitely an interesting, uh, interesting aspect. Too bad uh, not, not that many newer games use that kind of system. Most games, you have a simple talent tree kind of system or skill system over there. I got a lot of different skills over here. My close range skills, my range skills, and all this other good stuff in between right now. The game has a, a moderate emphasis on PvP as well, but right now I can't really do any of that shenanigans. Oh man, what I gain? Close range skill increased by 35. So every time you attack, you gain close range skill as well. Kind of like a weapon skill in the game too. And I'm getting, I'm doing a quest right now as well, like killing these dudes over here. And I'm almost leveled up too. I think this is my, is that my XP meter? I, no, my XP meter is down over here. So I am almost leveled up. I was just kind of confused which one was my XP meter. What is this one over here? Uh, let's see what meter that is. I can't highlight that right now. Which I guess, I got health, I got F, and I got S. So one of those are my stamina maybe. So yep, there's my character sheet over here. Do we have actual stat points? I don't really remember that, so let's see. Nope, I'm getting melee points over here of range. There's a summon stat as well. A force stat and all this good stuff over here too. I mean, there's a lot going on in the game, and the fact that the game is still around, and the people actually still play it definitely says something about the game. There's something to it that keeps players involved. The game is available globally, which is always good too. There's no IP restrictions, which makes a lot of sense. Especially considering the game is older. And why do these dudes drop so many of these little uh, little flo floating cubes over here as loot? Totally useless. No point of picking them up. Though later on, I suspect that uh, they might be useful if you want to craft stuff in the game. But I really can't do any of that right now. He drops like 30 items. It makes no sense. <laughs> I'm not sure what that marker on the floor is over there. We click M over here to see the map as well. The game world is quite large too. We got we can click grid over there too. Can we zoom in over here? I saw the world map earlier. I don't want to get there right now. But you can see my backpack too. Again, it's really small, so you really can't carry that much stuff over here too. We got gold and decena, which I apparently I have neither of right now. What is this? Level 45 box. Yep, more free loot for me. What is this one over here? Let's go kill these guys over here. Digger clan, guys. These guys are members of the Digger clans. Whatever that is, let's go one-shot them too. 
Will I one shot them or will I two shot them? Nope guys, I one shot them. Though I didn't do a lot of damage. Let's get my dual swords back in action. Let's go one shot these guys too. Though these guys are all really easy on. Even as a level one character, you can pretty much kill a lot of higher level stuff. By the way guys, I am running out of time, so I'm gonna call it. If you guys do want to play RF online, also called the Rising Force Online, do check out the full review on MMOT.com on the link below.